LA. So I'm gonna give it a roll here on the Xbox and do a little demo, and uh, then we'll talk about it in a little bit. Sound good? All right, let's get to it. Global Offensive. So that's its name. Is it a stepping stone to Counter-Strike 2? So yeah, that's, I guess, so Valve, we don't think of things that way and often yeah. that's confusing publicly then. We think we've learned a lot of stuff since Counter-Strike Source was last released. And that's actually our oldest title we haven't updated. And so we look back at it and go and said, well, you know, we've learned a lot of things since then. We want to update it. We want to get it out to the council crowd. We want to let them play it. We want to be able to see about matching between PS3 and PC and Mac players. And we want to experiment on all those things. Um, and we don't care about the price. We don't care about, is it going to be a $60 game? We're saying, you know, let's make it downloadable. Let's make it easy to get. Let's keep, keep people playing it. It's a game we love to play and it's fun. Yeah. So we'll do that and we'll worry about that other stuff later. Okay. So one of the things about Counter-Strike um, is the better player should win. And so I think we may be seeing that here. No, no offense on your... But I'm not we, pretending to be. <laughs> but what we try to do here in casual mode is make it for that player who doesn't play a ton to still have fun in it. So right. online, you're matched with your friends. Um, if you're playing competitively, you're matched skill-based with just other people um, at your skill level. So, um, so I guess um, someone told me that there wasn't going to be any iron sights in this game. Is that true? Correct. There's not iron sights. Why, why are there no iron sights? I'm curious. Um, because if you... If you watch really good players play Counter-Strike, it's a different kind of sh game where it's about fast motion. Um, there are there are people who sit back and use the sniper, but it's really about quick motion and quick decision making. And we wanted to keep that in there instead of raising the gun up to your, your eye every time. Um, you know, so um, Counter-Strike's uh, currently the, the like, number one competitive FPS on the PC. Nice. We wanted to take those things that work oh, and bring them over to the council as well as improve what wasn't working on the PC, right? So we didn't want to radically change to make the game and make it a different game. In that sense, it's kind of like baseball. It's been around 100 years. We still want to play baseball. Right. Um, Counter-Strike really is like that level of competitiveness where people play it again and again. But we wanted to make sure that you're, if you're playing it for the first time on the 360, you understand what made it the game it is and why people kind of use it as the game to decide their competitive level. Well, probably like things like the map changes we've, we've done here. So this map, um, Dust, is like the granddaddy original map everyone played to death. And then they stopped playing as other maps got developed and had better strategy choices. So we brought back some more of the strategy to Dust, so they'll want to play that. Um, we've done a lot of little changes um, where uh, there's this weird idea of, so like pro baseball players are good baseball players, right? Right. But yet there's still some people on the all-star team, there's people who don't make the all-star team. Correct. It's the same idea of, in this kind of game, you want the really, really good players to be able to distinguish themselves. So you want to add um, subtlety and complexity for them so that they can distinguish themselves, while at the same time for newer players, remove some of that and let them enter it in. Right. So that's why we split the two modes up. Oh, oh, you're going to get him, you're going to get him. Oh. Oh, no, you didn't get him. Oh, dang. So, some friends of mine want to know, obviously, this is going to run off a Valve server. Are you going to have the ability to run your own server if you want? Yeah, so we want to have um, our own servers that you'll match into automatically so that everyone has the same experience and you know, like, okay, this is where I'm actually going to get ranked and this is what's going on here. We also, in the PC community, want to let you have experimentation. Um, because while we're going to ship with some different game modes, um, other other people have also come up. There's a crazy surfing mode in, in Counter-Strike Source. And all kinds of weird, crazy things people come up with. We always want to let people be able to do that kind of stuff so that we can see that and see what's cool. And, you know, there's some people that want to surf and do that while they hold 
guns dressed as terrorists. Hey! Who are we to say that's wrong? To each their own, right? Exactly. What about maps? Any, um, any popular maps you guys are bringing back? Well, so we're going to bring back seven of the classic maps. Oh, I got sniped again from the same guy! He's your nemesis now. I know. Okay, the thing so is, seven classic maps, you said. Seven, seven. That dude there, we can just go punch him. <laughs> Um, so seven, seven classic maps with um, five of them being the bomb planning, two of them being the hostage rescue, and then we also have a new game modes and new maps that we're not talking about yet. Okay, when will you be talking about them? Later. Like sometime. You know the fun thing will be is uh, PS3 can play against PC and Mac users. So the, the good thing for PC players is if you're a good PC player and you're like, oh man, if I PS3 guys are going to ruin the game for me, well, you're only going to be playing against the best of your skill level. So right. if they're better with a controller than you on your mouse and keyboard, they're going to beat you and they're going to rank above you. If you're better than them, you're going to beat them and rank above them. So there's there's no favoritism, there's no auto-aiming, there's none of that. So it's going to kind of, kind of I think, hopefully uh, end some feuding. Yeah, exactly. Or start lots and lots but of feuding. But it's only if you have a PS3. If you have an Xbox, you can't play against we would, we would like to be able to do that, but as of now, we do not have the ability to do that. So if you're good, you can find a competitive game every night, and you're going to have it where it's really close. Um, and if they've never played Counter-Strike before, they're going to see that um, we've Counter-Strike's a game that's removed a lot of the randomness of why you die, and when you die, you know why you die. You made a right. mistake. The other guy was better than you. Right. And it lets you kind of have that kind of... Uh, uh, Fighting against that. Oh, you have the bomb. Plant the bomb. That, that'll be doing something for your team. Wait, no, no. Oh, oh you flashbang yourself. Yeah, you're not supposed to do that. But then you have to hit, hit Y to plant it. And you have to hold it down. You're setting the code. There you go. You're a sophisticated terrorist who have codes in your bomb. Not offend it. Yeah, throw the bomb. Not exactly a great throw, but that's No, that's actually uh, a decoy. Oh, you got him! Well, I think I'm not getting any better. So I better uh, let someone else give it a whirl. Thank you so much for taking Thanks the time for coming out. with us today. Excellent. And uh, we'll see you guys later at PAX.